635 days. It has been 635 days since we were first introduced to Arlecchino. You couldn't hope to understand. So why don't you keep your mouths shut? And ever since then, I've waited. I've bided my time. I have saved my primo gems. What? Not really. But at last, the wait is finally over. Today, at least the day that we are recording this video, is the release of Arlecchino. And as you all know, she is a character that I have very much been looking forward to. Now, um, unfortunately, <laughs> there has been a bit of an incident, shall we call it, with our Primo Gem Reserves, but through the dark arts, I have, you know, managed to conjure up some more funds. So, the plan is simple. Step one, we are going to be obtaining Arlecchino. Yoink. Step two, we are going to be building her. And step three, maybe we'll pull for some more copies of her. I don't know, we'll see. Without further ado, <clears throat> Lenny, take it away! Go from an A! Any moment, yep, yep, any moment, yep. Lynette! Boring. Isn't there anything else more interesting? Hello, Lynette? Oh, there, oh, oh, oh. Father! <laughs> Please come home! First ten pull, let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Pause! 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 One pity! Is she here to save her children? No need to fret. I shall handle this. Oh my god, yes! Oh my god, wait, I'm insane! Wait! It actually worked! She said, get your hands off my children! I'm here to save them! Oh my god, wait! Actually one pity, that's crazy. I guess we'll go for the weapon here. Um, okay, looks like we won't even need our dark art primo gems. Uh, I think this is like five pity here. Okay, maybe not the weapon here. Maybe not the weapon, but. <laughs> Holy, okay, off to a great start here. This is 25 pity on the weapon banner. Everyone shut up. Okay, it was too good to be true. It was it was too good to be true. <laughs> oh my god, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um okay, whatever. I guess we're back to zero pity now. Back to back, maybe? No. Oh boy. I swear to god, if we got her in like the first 10 pull, and then this takes me like a hundred pulls, I'm gonna be so upset. Come on, please. This is 20 or 30. Okay, you know, it's fine. It's still within pity. <laughs> it's still within pity. It's still within pity. It is, it is still within pity. Man. Seriously? All I wanted was the spear, bro. You had to do this to me. All right, this is 10. Let's get it right here. 20. Oh, no. Um, okay, come on. What, what are we waiting for now? What are we waiting for? Oh, no. Okay, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. 60, 60 pity. 60 pity. It, it's, a, it's soft pity, but it's fine. Overall, still less than the amount of pulls than I expected us to take. So, whatever. Still a dub. There it is. Crimson Moon Semblance. Honestly, one of the best looking pull arms in this game. Top tier along with the uh, Staff of Home, in my opinion. But, looks like... We've done it. Arlecchino comes home here. Honestly, you know what? We still have 11,000 primos. Maybe we'll save them for a certain Electro Sword character coming soon. Or maybe we won't. Who knows? But of course, we're going to have to build her first. But here is her weapon. Here is what she looks like on the screen in all her glory. All right, let's see. First look. First look at Arlecchino here. Oh my god, that's Scythe. That scythe is crazy, bro. Oh, what about this charge attack? Oh, and she has the wings so she can fly around. Sheesh. I still have not uh, seen anything about how she works, but... 
Okay, pretty cool so far. First impression. I think we can already take her probably to level 20 here. Ascension. And it looks like we'll be needing Golden Melody. Dropped by... Oh, no. It's quest locked! Wait, what? I can't just go there and fight? No shot. Are you kidding me? I should have known. It wasn't It wasn't going to be that simple. All right, well, my children, it is time. Go do my bidding. Let's go. Let's go explore here. <laughs> Let's go! Under 15 minutes. I'm so crazy. North America's number one quester. That's me. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. First time fighting the boss here. Should we use our Lakino? So here's what I'm thinking. Goodbye, Yoimiya. And uh, yeah, I'm kidding. I love Yoimiya. Yoimiya is one of my favorite characters still. <clears throat> Thank you for your contributions, Yoimiya. Should give her a decent loadout in the meantime. All right, let's see. First look at the new boss. What are we looking like? Okay, I see uh, quadruple digits. I don't actually know how to use Arlequino either. Oh, whoa, she's doing damage. Wait, this is kind of crazy. Wait, look at that. 27k? Wait. Okay, I mean, that's not, that's not, that's not crazy. That's not terrible though. Arlequino is now up to level 50. Let's go. All right, it's time. Let's do a little bit of farming. My Arlequino is going to be insane with my Yoimiya's artifacts. And of course, only two again? Are you kidding me? I'm getting scammed, bro. Okay, here we go, level 60. Now we need eight. All right, I'm assuming we're probably gonna take like 20 minutes here and then we'll be good. Oh, no, no. <gasps> oh, okay, maybe I shouldn't play Arlequino right now. And boom. Let's go, Arlequino will be level 90 today. Just a few more worlds. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes, Bennett, the true Pyro Archon. Another one. Please give me three here. Yes, okay. Nice. Okay, here we go. Level 80. Boom. One more, one more. Now we just need 20. <laughs> and done. There we go. The final one. And with that, level... 90! Yes! Okay, we've done it. Now, uh, her talents are still level 1 and her weapon is still level 40, but we can work on that uh, afterwards, right? We can work on that afterwards. Okay, so what I want to do first is actually take a look at her talents. So her skill is a really long paragraph that I don't really want to read. Um, give me one second here. To put it quite frankly in Razor language, I suppose. Let's see. Can we find an enemy to test this on here so right now you can see our health is full right so once i e here he now has the mark of the blood debt directive and if i charge attack here i absorb it and it gives me a bond of life now this changes my normal attacks and my charge attacks etc to pyro infused and obviously now i cannot be healed by any source other than my ultimate however there we go and now it will clear the blood debt directive and heal herself, right? I think that's it. So what you want to do with her is E, charge attack, and then just, yeah, keep attacking, right? Now, I do want to see what she can do with proper talents and proper artifacts. So first of all, let's upgrade her talents. I think level six for all of these should be fine, right? And there we go, talent level six, all the way around the board. Now let's also see if we can upgrade this here. I hope we can get it to at least level 80 here. That would probably be like the best case scenario for us. Oh, shoot, I need more hilts. Okay, um, I'll be right back. Um, this guy. This is actually so much work for one character. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, whoa, 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 no! No! Nice. Oh, yes. There we go. That's what I need. We did it! We did it! And boom! Level 80. Oh, feels so good.
Stop the timer. Stop the timer. 127. <laughs> That's always not bad. One and a half hours to level 90, a character, level six talents, and level 80 weapon. It's okay. All right, and that should be our Lakino at level 90 with a level 80 weapon. Artifacts, of course, she's still running Shimanawas because I'm not fully done with that, but uh, I would suggest probably running her best in slot, the new artifact set, or I would probably switch her over to like a two-piece attack and two-piece crimson for the power damage bonus, but talents level six, it's looking good. Here are her details, 82 to 197. Anyways, I do want to just test, you know, how she's gonna do here. So we're gonna head over to to our good friend here. Let me just once again showcase, you know, what we're gonna do and how, you know, we're gonna play here, but... Okay, okay, uh, one second here. So, turns out during the stream, I actually did the showcase extremely, um, incorrectly. So, let me just show you how to actually properly run this rotation and how you're gonna play Arlecchino, right? So, we are here at Masanori. Uh, one thing about Arlecchino, I actually did switch her artifacts over to a four-piece glad set. So, she, uh, actually does benefit quite a bit from that. But for the artifacts, I would also recommend four-piece new artifact set, her best slot basically but for the team we have John Lee, Kaza, and Bennett and of course for C0 Arlecchino since she does not have any interruption resistance a shielder is going to be very very useful and John Lee is going to just you know make sure we don't die as well as let us uh you know not sustain any knockback so the way you're going to start this is of course John Lee shield let me just do that real quick here Boom, you're gonna go into the Arlecchino E. You wanna do this first because if you wait for five seconds, you'll notice the marking on Masanori here. The enemy blooms, and now when she actually charge attacks and uh, acquires the Blood Debt Directive, it will, you know, just give her more of a percentage to use. So we're going to charge attack with her. You can see the bar for her health here. We get we get a lot more than simply uh, charge attacking right off the start, but we're gonna apply power. We're gonna swirl with Kaza. I'm actually going to ult as well. We're going to Bennett ult and we're just going to attack. And as you can see, big, big numbers here. We don't even have the Zhongli shield anymore because I waited too long on that. But that's basically how you're going to want to run this rotation with Arlecchino and Zhongli plus Kaza and Bennett. So hopefully that clears some things up. All right, and I actually also wanted to showcase to you guys another team that you could potentially use with Arlecchino. And oh, shit. Cute. Uh, this is actually the team that I've been running with her. Oh my goodness gracious, please stop. This is actually the team that I've been running with her uh, for the past couple of weeks since we pulled for her. And basically, this is an overload team. However, you're going to be taking advantage of Chevreuse and some of the buffs that she gets from overload. So the way we're going to do this is if I can avoid getting one shot here, please. Oh my god, you... Okay, clear. Okay, like I was saying, this team runs off of Chevreuse and her Overload. Specifically for her C6, you do get some, you know, additional buffs and whatnot. But how you're going to want to do this is, first of all... Oh my god, I'm going to die. Like before, you're going to start off with Arlecchino here with her E. And then you're actually going to apply Overload with Raiden. Go into Chevreuse. And once uh, you shoot your ball, you actually gain some buffs here. So we're going to do this here. Charge attack. I don't have Bennett ult up, which is a bit unfortunate. But now we're going to go here and boom. As you can see, the damage is quite comparable. Now, I do want to say this is probably best done with C1 Arlecchino. Just because, obviously, you get, you know, the interruption resistance if you have C1 here. I mean, the damage is good. And I think she can actually one phase right in if she doesn't die. You're basically just gonna apply overload. You're gonna shoot your shot with shovel use, and if done properly, big big damage. I don't actually want to die here. Okay. Hope that helps. Thanks for uh, letting me clarify this. Okay. All right. As you can see, very very interesting character here that we uh, have going on, and of course, as you know, we progress further into you know playing with her, getting her proper artifacts, maybe thinking about the team comp a little more. We'll probably flesh her out and probably get more potential out of her. But as she is currently on day one, you know, two hours after launch, I think she's super fun. Now, is she C6 Chiori fun? 
I don't know about that. <laughs> There's also a certain someone coming out soon that I would uh, really, really, really prefer to save Primos for. But, you know, just because everyone's been asking, what does her C1 do? Mask of the Red Death is further enhanced. The value of the increase is 100% and her interruption... In so I guess she just does more damage and she has interruption resistance. Oh, it increases her damage, right? So right now it's already 175%, so you get an extra 100% there. I guess it wouldn't hurt to feel pity. Uh, I mean, maybe to just, uh, just to, to uh, 30 pulls. I mean, she came home early, so it's like extra. It's like bonus. And she's probably going to come home early again. So like, right? <clears throat> On the next one right here. You know what I mean? So... If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you for making it to the end of the video. Arlequino, looking like a very fun character. We will certainly be playing her more in the future. So if you watch this video to the very end, I appreciate it. Thank you very much for making it. Be on the lookout for more videos coming in the future. I actually will be moving next week. So you, there might be a, a bit of a halt in the videos on the channel next month, but hope you guys understand. And I will be back with more content once I get settled. So thank you very much. Best of luck on your Arlequino. Arlequino polls and C1 is about to come home.